Good job, something. Seeing as you're such a clean freak, you pick it up. We've been asked to tell you that another young person has gone missing. It's a gift of nine, are we? We did the test and it worked. You have to trust me. I've traveled back from the future to get you to help. I give them my army. Let it begin. They were right. It's all about to kick off. Why oh, is it the big guy? I just want to pick on the little geeky dude. Oh. Coming. And I have the lame ability not to read minds. No, 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 no. But to feel how other people feel. Stop. 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 I guess we're all the gifted now. want with us? Why did you take us? What kind of person kidnaps kids? You won't be hurt by me. There was no other choice. There was no room for her. Where'd I know you from? Me? No. Her? Really? I'm in your technology class. Are you? <laughs> What's funny? I'm guessing we're all from Port Down then. And yet, we don't know each other. Figures. What do you think he wants with us? There has to be a reason why he brought us here. Why we were chosen. Something that connects us. There always is. I just can't figure out what it is yet. Um, mm, hello. We're all from Porta Down. <sighs> well, I worked it out by myself, thanks. Something we all have in common? What's your favourite colour? Green. Blue. That's not it. What's your favourite food? Pasta. Many cheddars and dairy milk. What? Don't knock it till you've tried it. <sighs> what age are you? Seventeen. Seventeen. You don't look seventeen. When's your birthday? 31st of December. 31st of December 1997? Yeah. Same as me. Me too. 30th of December. Me too. I'm me. Oh well done. It only took you six days to talk to each other. If anyone wonders where the world is in a mess, the answer is right there. What do you want with us? You are the gifted. What does that mean? Let me show you. Start transmission. This was eight days ago. Well, actually, 17 years ago for you. I went into Kogavan Hospital and injected a serum into you. The serum has nanos in it. They're tiny little computers. Who are they? Who injected us? Kelly, and the guy who designed the technology, Dylan. They are hell bent on destroying this world. They've already done it once. They've activated the nanos, and that's what the light was. What light? You know, when they had us locked up in that room. Yeah, it was like having a fit or something. What was the light? And what did the nanos do? They are designed to work with your DNA and your personality. They take something that is truly yours and make it better. Better? Super powers. Yeah, there are ten of you. Callie and Dylan have the others and are training them already. Training them for what? To destroy you. Will you let me show you what has become of the world?
this town has spent so long fighting over size and religions that it's lost sight that we're just people trying to live our lives. I brought you here to 2030 to show you what it's become. If you don't stay, and let me help you with your gifts. I don't want to see it anymore. Take it back. Take it back. Nice gift. Teleportation? No, the ability to change what people see. Jimmy, it's okay. You can stay with me and help save the world, or you can go home. The choice is yours. I want to go back. I'll send you home now. But be warned, if you tell people what you saw here, they'll think you're a mad. Please take my advice. See you home. We have a fight in our hands. It's time to prepare. Well, that sucks. We don't have to do that in our school. Really? Can I go to your school? You want to come to my school? Dylan's here. Aoife! What? What does he want? We stopped that thing on Water Street two weeks ago and we've been doing the parish training. I know, I thought having gifts would be cool, but these from the future types are taking all the fun out of it. Aoife, please! Can I come hide with you? You want to come and hide in the library? Fair point. Call Mark and Kenny, would you? Just in case we're all needed. What do you want, Dylan? We stopped the fight, didn't we? We've done your training and listened to the world going to end in drama. I need your help. Again? We've just helped you out. Where's your pretty little psychic anyways? Gone. Gone where? Back to the future. <laughs> One point down, take us! <laughs> Can I show you something? Please, it's really important. Great scat! For Pete's sake, Dylan, lighten up. It's not like the world's about to end. This is heavy, Doc. You're not for the Back to the Future quotes, all right? The year is 2030. It's not too far into the future from where you are today, but the world has significantly changed. In 2021, the African plate dropped in the Atlantic Sea off the coast, sending a tidal wave that engulfed Portugal and Morocco with detrimental effect on all Mediterranean countries. Information leaked a year later that this event was man-made. Scientists had been working on weather systems for decades, first in response to saving lives through early warning systems, then in the aid of growing crops. It was never released which country or government had been responsible for this world-changing event. Not long after, the leaders of the world's superpowers, such as the President of the United States and the Prime Minister, were assassinated by extremists. In light of this news, all countries closed their borders, all flights and transportations were grounded, and officials stopped working with other governments. NATO, the UN and the G8 committees disbanded. Without aid, within 18 months, 2024, death toll in third world countries was unprecedented. Without the intervention of worldwide groups, Israel and Palestine, South Korea and North Korea, Afghanistan and Pakistan waged war upon each other. Within two years, by 2026, all six countries were destroyed. By 2029, the population of the world went from 8.2 billion to an estimated 2.5 billion. It's New Year's Eve. The next decade is drawing near minute by minute. All scientific forecast models indicate the human race will be extinct before 2032. Aoife, it was not climate change or nuclear war that destroyed us. It was our own greed and wish to be better than everybody else. It was our inability to accept other people's differences. Instead of understanding each other, we fought against them. This was my undoing. Eva, will it be yours?
The simplest things can change a person. They make choices and they live with the consequences. And if they're hurt or wrong, this can grow into something greater. Inspiration works for both good and bad. It works both ways. I, I don't understand. What's this and what she said got to do with me? Aoife, you and Callie are the same. How are we the same? We're nothing alike. You are exactly alike. Both annoying, both playful, both back to the future freaks, and both strong of heart. You're the same. She is you and you are her. I turn into that? Damn, I become a hottie. <laughs> yes, you do. But Aoife, there's a bigger picture here. You're about to face a very tough decision. It's a decision that Callie made and it turned out bad for the whole world. You have to make the right decision this time. What decision? Your heart is about to fall in love with a boy very soon. You're both so different in so many ways. And it's these differences and the hard times that you think you might face that will stop you from following your heart. You love her, don't you? Yes. It's not you, is it? No. Thank God. You don't jizz her love her. I mean, you don't even like Back to the Future. I do like it. It was a joke. Then, why are you doing this? Because not everybody wins. It's either me or the whole world that loses. I want to take this one for the team. You breaking yours in this boy's heart turns this world upside down. It'll be the seeds of destruction. It turns this good boy into a bad man. Mr. Percy? You know you're not as dumb as you think you are. Dylan, who's Mr. Percy? Oh, 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 oh,